Israel. Uh, so welcome in the booth of Heritage Watch Manufactory. Uh, we are a small independent watchmaking company and we are producing uh, watches based on the traditional watchmaking. So that's the reason why I've chosen Heritage Watch Manufactory even when it's a new company. Um, we didn't invent the, the wheel the second time, so we are based on the knowledge of uh, a few hundred years of, of chronometry, and we are only adding a small chapter in it. And, uh, it's, uh, so we try to make to do our best to continue the story of watchmaking. Um, um, you have seen the recent models with the constant force. Uh, we have the five patterns pending, and they are now created. Uh, so we have we got them all. Um, our aim is to have watches with big balance wheels most precious possible. Um, we have to live with the reality, surely, so um, we're trying to do our best in this way. Um, our newest product now is um, the first one in my point of view, which is an instrument by our company. Um, it's a navigation tool. And uh, we deliver this watch together with a sextant in a wooden box. And with both together, you are able to define the position and longitude on the Earth in the case of your GPS failed. So, I think uh, it's obviously that something is different on this watch. At first, at all, you see always the second who is turning very quickly. This is a hand who makes one turn in four seconds. And this is in the hour angle system, in the first one, it is for the seconds of degree. There's another hand advancing very quickly. He makes one turn in four minutes and he indicates a minute of arc. With the hand with the small moustache, together with the hand at 3 o'clock, you can arrive to make the calculation in degrees. So this hand turns once in 24 hours. Um, this hand turns in 4 minutes, that means the Earth has turned 1 degree. When this hand makes one turn, the Earth turns the length of one nautical mile on the equator. Um, you find the same indications on the second chain of wheels. Um, here you find another minute, so he makes one turn in four minutes. He goes together with a hand who looks like a normal minute hand, and he fits together with this system here on 360 degrees. The last one, you can change the speed. You can dislock the pusher. When you push it, you change the speed from sun time to, to sidereal time. This is necessary if you want to follow the stars because the stars go with a different speed over the sky. Um, the difference is that the stars are approximately four minutes faster than our normal time. This is only an optical, an optical appearance which is given by the fact that the Earth is turning around itself and turning around the Sun. Uh, if you would be in another galaxy and you look at our sun, we are moving with the same speed, but it's only given why we are turning around the sun. Um, you need this both system, sun time and sidereal time in the morning when you are on sea, when you want to check out with the first light, when the first light came and you can see the line between the water and the sky, then you are able to measure with the sextant the first time. Yeah. After one, you take the planets before they disappear when the sun rising up and you don't see them anymore because of the light. In former times, the, the sailors had then to go in the cabin and they have to make the calculation to transform the time difference from the local position to London uh, to transform it in degree. This watch is indicating directly the value in degrees. So when you got, by example, the sun in the zenith, mm -hmm. you look on the watch when it's set on London time, on GM. Greenwich time, and you see immediately a degree, minute of degree, and a second of degree the value where you are. So it's if your GPS failed, it's a good alternative system for to find your position.